Hey everyone, it's the floating head of Not Dan again, and in this video, I'm going to show you some examples of the energy, frequency, and wavelength calculations. It's... Welcome back. Well, once again, it's time to jump on into the computer monitor. Let's go! Ah, uh, welcome back into my computer, everyone. Now, before we jump right on into these examples, I want to show you something up here. All right, consider this equation. 12 equals 4x. Now, do you know how to solve this? Well, of course you do. This is very simple. You divide both sides by 4 in order to get x by itself. The 4 crosses out, and you're left with 12 divided by 4. x equals 3. Okay? So I want you to keep that in mind as we take a look at these examples. All right, so our first one says, a radio station broadcasts at 7.80 times 10 to the fifth hertz. And what is the wavelength? All right, so what is it giving us? Well, it's giving us something in hertz. And as we already know, hertz measures frequency, and it's asking for wavelength. So what equation has both frequency and wavelength? The answer, of course, is C equals lambda times frequency. All right, so let's start plugging our numbers in. C is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth power. Lambda, do we know lambda? Nope, because that's what it's asking for. Okay, and do we know frequency? Well, yes, we do. It's right there in the question. It is 7.80 times 10 to the fifth power. Now, before we actually do these calculations, compare this equation with this first one that I showed you. Take a look. This is a number equals a number times a variable. This one right here is a number equals a number times a variable. It is the exact same type of calculation. This only looks more complicated because it's got numbers in scientific notation. But if you treat it like one number, then it's really quite simple. Let's take a look. I'm going to divide both sides by 7.80 times 10 to the fifth power. All right, do the same thing over here, 7.80 times 10 to the fifth power. That cancels out. All right, so then I take, pick up my calculator, I do my calculation, and I get that wavelength equals 384.615, blah, 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 blah. And when we round this to, uh, scientific notation, or I'm sorry, put it into scientific notation. I'm going to move the decimal to the left, one, two places, and so we get 3.85 times 10 to the second power, and our units are meters. Very simple. Let's take a look at the next one. A low frequency radio wave has a frequency of 2.50 times 10 to the fifth hertz, and what is the energy? So once again, we are given frequency, but this time it's asking for energy. All right, well, that's the other equation. E equals H times F. All right, so do we know E? No, we do not. That's what we are looking for. But do we know H? Yes, we do. It is a constant. It is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th power. And then F is right there in the question. It is 2.50 times 10 to the fifth power. All right, and then we pick up our calculator. We multiply those two numbers together, and we get 1.66 times 10 to the negative 28th. And since this is energy, our units are joules. All right, very simple. Let's take a look at this last example here. All right, so it says, an x-ray has waves with a length of 2.19 times 10 to the negative 8 meters, and what is the energy? So it's giving us something in meters, and as we know, meters measures wavelength. And now, is wavelength and energy in the same equation? No, they're not. But uh, let's see what we can do. All right, well, wavelength is in our first equation. Okay, so let's plug in the numbers that we've got. C is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth power. Wavelength here is 2.19 times 10 to the negative eighth power. And 
frequency is the unknown. All right, so now we're going to divide both sides by 2.19 times 10 to the negative eighth. Cross that out. Do the same thing here, 2.19 times 10 to the negative eighth. And we get that frequency is 1.37 times 10 to the 16th power. And frequency is measured in hertz. Now, are we finished? No, we are not, because it's asking for energy. So how do we get energy? The other equation, right? So we've got E equals H times F, right? Energy is what we're looking for. H, we know, is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th. All right, put those in parentheses. Multiply it by the frequency that we just calculated, which is 1.37 times 10 to the 16th power. Plug those into the calculator. We multiply them out, and we get that energy equals 9.08 times 10 to the negative 18th power. And this being energy, our units are joules. Very simple. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please comment below. And if you have any specific problems that you would like me to work out, you can email them to me at chemistrytalk at gmail.com, and I will work them out for you in another video. So thanks a lot, guys. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Waiting on a train.